We're going to talk Ben Staples. Ben Staples show? Yeah, I feel like we finished it. Yeah. What would you uh would you give it? What would you give it out of 10? Hmm. Hmm. Probably eight and a half. And that's just because I see potential for it to go, yeah, to grow even more. You know what yeah. I mean? Maybe even a nine. But like, I liked it a lot. I thought it was really, like, really good. Um, yeah, reminding me of kind of similar to what I felt about Creed Three, where like it's not perfect, but it like really encouraging for what this person's gonna be doing like down the line. You know what yeah. I mean? Like Michael B. Jordan and Vince Staples, just what they're gonna create down the line. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's uh, that's kind of where I had. I think I had like eight and a half in my head, mm -hmm. just cause yeah, cause I could see what is. You could tell it was just his first show and like just mm -hmm. his first time doing this, but like just for how good it was for somebody's first time, just uh, having a show. The other thing is like everybody. I feel like all the actors are really good. That's all. Like he's surrounded yeah. himself by a lot of good actors. So I feel like mm -hmm. his first time being on camera kind of stands out, kind of. Yeah. But I feel like. He'll get more comfortable. But yeah, I can't give it like a nine or a ten yet because I know like, mm -hmm. okay, if he keeps this going, he'll get more comfortable on camera and become yeah. he'll know his role and like just become a better act just a better actor in general, just with getting the reps in and everything. Mm -hmm. So like that's where I'm like gotta save like the before I go higher on the rating, just seeing how mm -hmm. it grows and develops. But yeah, all the actors I feel like all the actors in the show that like yeah, he picked bro. his cast really fucking well. Like mm -hmm. Shit. Yeah. Nah, that's the thing. I feel like that's a nice thing. Or that was the thing about it as it went on. To see how polished like it actually was. Like not even like because I feel like it feels I don't say grimy is the right word. It feels very I feel like he's capturing he wants to capture a certain vibe of what LA can feel like. And I feel like he does that well. Like it doesn't necessarily feel like that, but it feels just the show itself has a good just pop like yeah, it's just well written, well cast, like well shot. Like it looks looks good and feels good to watch. Yeah. Like, in a yeah. way that you never really know. Like, I feel like comparing it even to, like, some of the skits that he did for the first Vince Staple show thing when he was doing that as the promo kind of type shit. Like, just seeing, yeah. like, that step up uh, yeah. has been has been really cool to see. And, yeah, no, I'm excited to see where it goes going mm -hmm. forward, definitely. You have any thoughts on the last episode? I feel like that was interesting. I don't know. It's just interesting in concept to do. Remind me of the, uh, is that? The last episode was, what was that, White Boy? Yeah, White Boy, yeah. Yeah, yeah that. <laughs> Remind me of the verse from the Kendrick, the Kendrick J Rock song going untitled, uh, the what's the face? Oh um, yeah, 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 yeah. The um, every piece of your, your brain, brain to your yeah. son jumps in your arm. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I even think about that, but yeah. that was a little dark, a little dark ending. I mm -hmm. saw what he did there. Like, I don't know. I kind of, uh, kind of like I was expecting it, but mm -hmm. I don't know. I want to see what he does from that. But I don't want to spoil it for anybody who hasn't yeah, seen it. Yeah, no. It's just, it, yeah. Is, yeah. it was funny, a funny episode with a dark ending. I was like, okay. okay. Yeah. I don't know. That shit was, that shit was cool. No, yeah. It's feel like it's something similar to stuff you said. Like, yeah, kind of just, it just messes with your expectations almost kind of yeah. type thing. Like, even how it flips kind of the Kendrick part of it. Like, I feel like Kendrick cares about that thing you're talking about. And it seems like the whole episode, like, the show's, like, almost not giving a fuck about that part for a weird way until yeah. the end when he, like, kind of what's the faces. But, yeah, yeah we're kind of talking around it. But, yeah, no, it was, uh, just, yeah, it made me think because it was such an interesting... I feel like they do a little bit of showing you, like, the show can get serious, but I think that's where it's like, oh, no, we're going, we're going kind of a, not a total different direction, but we're going somewhere new to finish this out. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Uh, how you feel? I don't know. That was I don't know if we talked about this on pod or we just talked about this separately about the the Atlanta comparisons. Mm, mm. Yeah, I don't I don't like the comparisons, yeah. bro. I'm not, why it's not like I mean I see exactly why people compare it. Is it a funny show? Yeah, it's yeah, funny. yeah definitely. It's, funny. it's like I feel like even Atlanta was it. I feel like this Vince's show is more like straightforward funny, bro. I like mm -hmm. you could show like you probably some people don't think they just didn't yeah. get Atlanta, bro. Like mm -hmm. you gotta really have a certain like sense of humor, like to like yeah. actually get it or like just yeah, to start sure, watching sure. or like at least have been watching from the beginning. I feel like you could you could put on any episode of the Vince show and like you could tell, okay, like you're gonna laugh, like mm -hmm. yeah. So I, and I feel like people just compare it just because of how it's shot and just yeah, yeah. black show in general was mm -hmm. like kind of told in the line of being serious and funny, but, like, mm -hmm. I feel like 20 years down the line, people are going to realize, like, oh, these are two completely 
yeah. different shows yeah. where people will try to say, are these in the same universe? Like, is this in the same universe as Atlanta? I'm like, bro, just watch the like, <laughs> old days. <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad you brought up the point about the way it's shot because I do. I feel like once we saw the first couple of episodes, I got it more. It's like, oh, it does like it seems like the person, not like they're aping Hero Mirai, but they're definitely trying to capture a city in the same way, like kind of Atlanta yeah. is just like with the look, like I said, nothing about the show itself, but just like how it's shot. And I think that's just might just also be a thing for people's like seeing black people actually get to film these spaces like in kind of what how they capture those spaces versus what we're used like what we're used to seeing somebody capture like uh, southern california yeah. la greater la county long beach type shit it's like it's gonna kind of even like uh i feel like what's the face is similar um friday or boys in the hood or maybe even both like kind of they both kind of even how they kind of shoot you get more of that there um so i get it from that comparison but it's like yeah they're too I think the way it's made about yeah. the comedy too is just two totally different shows. They're doing two different kind of takes on the thing they're doing, and yeah, no, it's yeah. But these are the same people that compared Little Dicky show to Atlanta, so it's just yeah. I don't know. But like people see just the high quality, like just the mm-hmm. it's still new to people to just to see like black shows like just high quality and like just well filmed. So like they, mm-hmm. it's easy to throw them in a box. But like I'm trying to think of like two like white white shows or like just other. Two, mm-hmm. two other shows that like people Complex maybe will that. like yeah you, like compare like that but you like if you actually watch them they're like nah these are two mm-hmm. totally different like shows like, and experiences you go like the office and parks and rec kind of like that yeah something like that. yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. Like, or you mm-hmm. watch something like abbott to the office like it feels similar but they're two yeah. very very different shows yeah definitely yeah. Nah, i feel it you think uh you think they're gonna get season two Oh, I think so. I think he got the cam. I think yeah, they show one thing Ben thing good at doing, things. he good at just promoting, like mm-hmm. realizing this may make you realize, like uh, he how strong his fan base was already, and like yeah. seeing people like who don't even know Ben Staples as a rapper, like watching his show too, is like just been crazy. You know, like, like yeah, you can see the world trying to like the world getting put on to him mm-hmm. and everything. So like, yeah, I feel like he's gonna he's gonna have the momentum, so they they're gonna have to give him a season too. Yeah. You think, think he gonna keep rapping? Uh, I don't see. Uh, he be acting like he don't like music, bro. But I could see this nigga still, bro. I could see this nigga. I I could see him <clears throat> stop rapping. Like, well, didn't he just turn thirty, bro? I could see him yeah. dropping like a couple more albums and then just stopping. But I could also see him, bro. Never. I could see him being one of the people who, bro. I could see him dropping a song at like thirty eight. 40 bro he he wouldn't like to hear that bro he would say he won't be rapping by 40 i feel like but i don't know bro uh it no nah, that's I could, the last time Nas dropped the album uh he be doing that shit with what's his name hit boy he got a few of them them king's diseases oh, for us. I yeah know, he's still dropping albums. Nah, i thought he'd just be dropping random songs nah, bro, that's the new i ain't gonna lie well i listened to one of them bro he like oh i was like nah it's got a rebirth bro like, yeah it sounded, okay. it sounded nice actually but I could see, yeah, bro. I could see Vince. Like, I feel like when I listen to his albums, you could tell he's still learning about music through all of them, and like just seeing like the evolution. Like, I could see him still wanting to try new shit, just like as time goes on. Yeah, yeah. Like, I see it. He gonna do some Andre three thousand flute shit. <laughs> Oh shit! It's interesting comp because Andre has a similar trajectory, right? Or like not as a rapper, but just to the for for like he had a TV show. Forget that he made his own TV show too. That classic three thousand. Uh, yeah, classic. They said he stole it from somebody though. <laughs> That's crazy. I ain't never watched. It was it. a kid, wasn't it? Yeah, I ain't never watched that. It's a crazy show. Like they make a new song for every show. Uh, like make an original song and they all kind of slap actually or for every episode like yeah and they all kind of slap concept is pretty good made the shit diverse cast too so i feel like you get the interesting mix 